We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. A good matchup here for you tonight between the New York Yankees and the Boston Red Sox. The Yanks look for their seventh straight victory next. Eduardo Rodriguez, a Venezuelan left-hander, will be the man on the mound. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, Matty, we're getting a chance to look at a guy that's really struggled lately. ERA over nine in his last three starts, and he has to do a lot better. This guy isn't that bad of a pitcher, but one of the keys, he needs to start limiting the number of hits and the limit Leading the number of base on balls. Yankees. It'll be the interesting to see if he can turn things around Miguel. in this one here today. Swing and a screamer, but this one's not going to stay fair. First pitch, 760. Well, now a fastball that's taken close that time, but it's one and one. Guys, this Red Sox ball club entering play here tonight. They come in trying to rebound after a loss that snapped a modest three-game winning streak. Yeah, Maddie, they lost their last game. It was only by one run. They should be able, those are the tough ones, but they should be able to put this one behind them. Very mild temperatures as we begin tonight. 58 degrees here at first pitch. Grounder down the line at third. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. This is a fun guy to watch when he's up there, really battles. Doesn't take any pitches off. He's a grinder. Always seems to make it difficult on the opposing pitcher. And a fastball is swung on and missed, and there is your first out of the contest. Boy, that's the best pitch in baseball right there that with two exactly. strikes. That elevated fastball. Every hitter Labor. thinks that, hey, they can do something Four. with that, but most of the time, you get the result that you saw right there. A big swing and a miss and another strikeout. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. His numbers against Eduardo Rodriguez comes in with six hits in 18 at-bats. And of those hits, three of them were of the home run variety. Now the 1-0 is swung on and missed strike one. Rodriguez has made a name for himself as a starter that simply misses the barrel of the bat. He rarely allows a large number of hits, and he does a pretty good job of keeping the ball in the ballpark when the hitters do make contact. Down the third baseline. Bases are empty, one man out. Nope. And that's high for a ball. It's two and two. Now the pitch. We got three and two. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's got to beat me. And he lays off here, ball four, and he'll become the game's first base runner here with one away. Well, the reason power hitters generally draw more good. walks than other guys is like exactly what we saw right down. there. Pitchers Aaron. work around them and nibble the corners a lot more so they don't get burned. He made some good pitches, but he just couldn't get him to chase enough out of the zone. And that'll bring up Aaron Judge. First shot for him here as he comes in currently leading the junior circuit in hitting. This season really shouldn't come as a surprise to many. We all know what kind of skill this guy produces when he has a bat in his hands. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. High and deep to left center field. Ranging back is Pilar. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Batting four. The left fielder, Giancarlo Stanton. Giancarlo Stanton now comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game.
First pitch coming. Here it is. That's out. 's the runner at first with two gone swung on and missed one, one and one from the stretch and he lays off for a ball two and one and set up behind the dish is Gary Simmons as you see the rest of our umpiring crew there. Dero this Gary Simmons he's the kind of umpire that pitchers really like to throw to. Yeah I'm OK with it though Dan you want to go east west I'll make the adjustment it's the north south that'll kill you three and one to him now. Not definitely a fastball swing there, but a good time for the changeup. It's full three and two. Three, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Skied down the left field line. Payoff pitch one more time. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. Smoke toward the hole. A diving try, but it's through into the outfield. And they won't even attempt to run on that arm and right. So despite the runner moving on the pitch, it'll wind up first and second here. Boy, I'm talking about making a pitcher work, D row. Eight pitch it back. Finally leads off to a base hit. I got to be honest with you. After the seventh pitch, you start to get an auto swing mode. He could have thrown the rosin bag and he would have took a hack at it. So hats off to him. Not only battling for eight pitches, but getting a result. And it's fouled away. The set and the 1-1 one -one hit in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. You don't see too many guys at this level be laid on off-speed pitches right there. That tells me he was totally sitting on something else or was going automatic take. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Verdugo will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. Yanks strand a pair. Yanks nothing. Sox coming to bat. It's Major League Baseball on the show. James Paxton is on the mound for game two. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, this is a very unique pitcher. He is really tough to hit when runners get into scoring position, and that's one of the reasons why he doesn't give up many runs. We'll see if he can continue to do that in this one. So striding in, Jose Peraza. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half Leading of the first. For the Red Sox, the second baseman. Now the pitch. Okay. Peraza. And as the Yankees get started here tonight, guys, they've run their win streak up to six in a row now, and they're really playing some inspired baseball. Yeah, Matty, this is one of those special moments throughout the course of the season where everyone kind of looks around the clubhouse and takes stock. Six in a row, you have a chance to rattle off a seventh. You start saying, hey, maybe something special is going to happen this summer. And a base hit, so early trouble to lead off the inning. Batting second, the third baseman, Raphael. Raphael Devers. Devers, the next to bat. He carries the eighth best average in the American League entering play. This guy's having a really good year for his age, but this is something we've seen a lot lately. Young players coming up and impacting a lineup. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Pitch swung out and missed the throw. Not in time. He's in there at second. No one out with a runner at second.
Nope. That's over, that's but low, it's a ball and a strike. One ball, one strike. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. And a pitch down that swung on and sent to second base. Throw on to first in time, one away. Batting third, the left fielder, J.D. Martinez. And that'll bring up J.D. Martinez. He's, of course, a long ball threat, currently third in the American League in that category. Man, this guy's been in fuego lately. A boatload of homers over his last 10 games. Yeah, usually, Dan, guys get hot throughout the course of the season, but not like this. Hot and hot with damage. First pitch of the at-bat. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. According to the career numbers on the back of his baseball card, Martinez has a track record of power hitting at the major league level. Over 250 career home runs. That evens it up one and one. Nope. Hit the target, but this is low, two and one. Three and one to Martinez. You would think in this situation, maybe with a base open, he'd just pitch around him and put him on first. But not with the guy in the on-deck circle. He's going to attack this hitter. He sends it out to left field. Well hit. It'll die on the warning track as the catch is made. And here comes the runner from third. The run is in to score, and they take an early 1-0 lead. That a cool. Great job there by That's this power spot. hitter. Known for That's driving right. the ball out of the ballpark. Bro, Does the job right there with the sack fly and brings the run home. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring up the shortstop and one of the better two-strike hitters in baseball, Xander Bogarts. Ground ball right into the shift. Throw on to Voigt, yeah. takes care of him, and the inning is over. So it's one run, one hit, no errors, and no one left. On now to the top half of inning number two. It's the Red Sox one and the Yankees nothing. Leading off the inning, Gary Sanchez, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Gary Sanchez. Here's the first pitch to him. And he throws the fastball by him here. 0 and 1. Nope. Fastball misses inside. It's even at 1. One ball, one strike. One and two to the Yankees catcher. Might have been taking all the way right there. That pitch couldn't have split the strike zone any better. And you can bet he wants that one back at the plate. The one two. He swung on and missed strike three. This is a pitch I think we'll see a lot from him in this game. The cutter darting in on the hitters in the opposite batter's box. It can be a real effective pitch when it's located well, and that one was right there. That'll bring in Giovanni Urshela as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. And he comes in as a player to watch out for, hitting well over 300 on the season. Into his windup, here comes the 1-0. Line toward right center. And this is going to find the gap and roll toward the bullpen for extra bases. And this will kick up against the wall near the Red Sox bullpen. And he is in at second base with a one out double. The first baseman, Luke Boy.
Into the box now, Luke Voigt, as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. 264 is average entering play, a dozen home runs, 27 driven in. A one count, here's the pitch. Red Sox on top in the early going. One nothing as we play the second. Keeping it down here as it's to one and two. Misses ball two. He's set. Here's the two two. Mike Talkman will be next. Now the payoff pitch home. Swing and oh my. Hit him with the hind. And it's gone into the monster seats. So a two run shot to left center. Number 13 for him on the year. And the Yankees take the lead. It's two to one. Hey, that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter, and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno, number one, man. You got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else, and he did just that. To the plate now, Mike Talkman. As he'll take a look at an off speed pitch here that misses for ball one. And a fastball in there for a strike, one and one. Still only one out in the inning. Hit to third. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Now that it. And now time will be called here as you see the pitching coach making his way out to the mound to pay a quick visit. And that'll bring up Miguel Andujar as the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball one and oh he was a strikeout victim to open up the ball game. One oh count here it is a ball and a strike Andujar tends to exploit left handed pitching many hitters are better against opposite handed arms of course but he's considered one of the best hitters in baseball in these types of matchups two balls and a strike down to the Yankees leadoff man looks like that bomb earlier in the inning kind of put this pitcher on the defensive not being very aggressive right now now the two one pitch runners going a swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that'll wind up a foul ball just to the right of Pesky's pole. The 2 2 is looked at and the count moves full. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. 3 2 count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. Full count still. He's set. Here's the three and two. Fouled away. Runner at first here, one man out. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Four foul balls in this A-B. Pitcher cannot find anywhere to go to put this guy away. Donnie finally wears him down here as he strikes him out after a nine-pitch at-bat. 
in a double play situation, Up you kind of expect game. most pitches to be the down in the down. zone, hoping Lever. for a ground ball. So Pull that was that. an interesting pitch selection to go up in the zone. I think he caught him off guard a little bit. Stepping in now, Torres, as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Oh and one. Line towards center field. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. Dan, he's got to find a way to get himself out of this. This is constant like, traffic, and here he finds nine. himself in a second with two outs, and he's still giving up knocks. Boy, it's about trying to limit the pitch count. Also, only in the second inning here, and his pitch count's getting up, up, up. He's had a lot of traffic on the bases, so he really needs to get out of this one right here. First pitch on its way. And that swung on and missed for strike one. Hey, that's a great pitch right there. An 0-0 change up to a great hitter. It opens up so many more places you can go in the strike zone. Comes set. The 0-1. Boy, his pitch count has really spiked here in this inning. He's up to over 50 already. Ready with the 1-1. One, one. Oh, that's it. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. Coming up now on 30 pitches in the inning. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. That's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. Well, this has been a long inning already, and I know he doesn't want it to get any longer. I expect a challenge pitch right here. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Out of the stretch, the 3-2 home. And pitch number 33 in the inning will be the lucky one as this is swung on and missed to retire the side. The Yankees get a couple on the two-run home run. We'll go to the bottom of the second, 2-1 to one New York. Bottom of the inning now, and striding forward the designated hitter, Michael the Chavis. designated hitter, Michael Chavis. Outfield shaded a bit to left center, the first pitch. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. Boom goes the dynamite. A solo shot here to left. Seven home runs for him on the year now. And the Red Sox have come back to knock things up at two. Hey, listen, there's an old adage in baseball that solo home runs won't kill you. This is one of the top hitters in that lineup. So a home run, a solo home run right here, it's not the end of the world. Settling in now, Christian Vasquez having a very nice batting year, play. currently second the in the American League in Christian. batting average entering play. Vasquez. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. No outs, nobody on. 
one and one count now to Vasquez. Lifted in the air out to left field. Stanton has a read on it. He's got it one away. Batting seven. The right fielder. Alex. Verdugo. And the next up will be Alex Verdugo. And as you can see, he's had some troubles here in his own ballpark. That's something he'll look to improve upon in this one. Here's the first pitch to him. A ball and no strikes. Swing and a miss one and one. Paxton, also known as Big Maple due to his Canadian roots, he was a fourth round selection back in the 2010 first year player draft. Hey, when you come out of the middle round, you have to grind for everything, and that's exactly what this guy has done, and he has turned himself into a solid big league ball player. The one-two. Popped high in the air. LeMahieu has a play. Two down. Batting eight, the first baseman, Bobby Dahlbeck. Standing in, Bobby Dahlbeck will try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Paxton has his sign. First pitch on its way. Hit pretty well out toward right center field. Center fielder giving chase. He can't get there, so the inning will continue. And he will pull into second with a two-out double. As we take Batting a look done. at the replay here, you the can see that it was a hanging changeup. Nice job of staying oh, back on oh. it, and he's able to tattoo it for a double. And you know, if that pitch would have supplied more velocity, it might have been out of here. He hit it right on the screws. Man at second here with two away, and that'll bring up a man who's a human highlight reel defensively, Kevin Pillar. From the stretch, and a foul tip held onto here at strike one. Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. Looked like he just tried to do too much with that fastball right there. He, he overthrew it a little bit. That's pretty much the case when you airmail a fastball like that. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. A ball and two strikes. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Grounded weakly down the line toward third. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. One and two. Here it is. Swing and a chopper to third. Enduhar fields it cleanly. Throw in time and the side is retired. Some of our nation's young minds and future leaders here in attendance. Yikes. More from the show. Saturday baseball following this message and a word from our local stations. Back now at Fenway Park, and here's Heidi Watney with a report. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. It's still pretty early in the game, but they've seen a lot of pitches already. And he thinks the two runs they've pushed across so far is just the beginning, given the quality of the at-bats they're putting together. All right. Thanks, Heidi. New inning set to get underway. Coming forward, the veteran outfielder, Giancarlo Stanton. Giancarlo. 
Champion. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Checks his swing, but this pitch is right there for strike one. And that one cut a little too much. A ball and a strike. Not close with the off speed pitch taken for a ball. One strike. And a fastball, but he's losing it a bit here to three and one now. DJ LeMayhew waits on deck. The three one. Hit hard to the right side. Foul. And he fouls this one off. The next three two. And he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. With how hard guys throw these days, 94 miles an hour is good, but not as impressive as it used to be. Professional hitters can catch up with that, so it's all about setting the fastball up with good off speed stuff to make it look more effective. And that's exactly what he did right there. And that sends DJ LeMayhew into the box. And he's first pitch swinging here as he lines this one into left field for a base hit. And this will get to the wall out near the 310 sign. Everyone knows that this guy's numbers are not where he wants them to be so far this year. But you never know about that swing. He looked fluid and confident driving that pitch for a double. We'll see if that gets him going a bit. In now Gary Sanchez as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one one out and a runner on second base inside and he falls behind the hitter now two and zero. Oh. and a good comeback fastball there it's two balls and a strike. That's what you call a challenge fastball right there, boys. I don't know if he was necessarily trying to miss up in the zone like he did, but he got away with it right there and put the fastball by him. From the belt, kicks and deals. A quick glove at third, and there are two gone. But he gets back in time, safe at second base. Now batting, the designated hitter, Gio Urshela. Ready for another chance. Gio Urshela, runner in scoring position with Sugan. From the stretch, here's the pitch. A wave and a miss made him reach. Come set, the 0 1. And low, it's a ball and a strike. One ball and two strikes to count. The set and the one two. The bouncer to the left side. Throw on to first gets him and the side is retired. The Yanks leave one. Home half of the third coming up all even at two and two. Jose Peraza leading off for the Red Sox. The second baseman. Okay. Ready with the first Peraza. pitch. Here it comes. Oh. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Oh. 
And this is a fastball that's right on the black, but ruled a ball. It's 2 0 now. Three and oh now. Well, he was definitely looking fastball here, and he got one. But that was good discipline to lay off and get himself into a 3-0 count. And good nope. patience exercised as he works out the walk to lead off the home now half back. of the third. The well, third that is break. definitely not the way to start an inning. One thing to give Never. up a walk, but to do it on four pitches is pretty alarming. He looks a little thrown off right now. Digging in, Rafael Devers. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Here's a look over to first, and the runner will get back standing. Another look to first, and a dive, but he's back in. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Pitch outside the throw. It bounces, but he's out. Nice play there to pick the throw and put the tag on quickly. One out, nobody on. Skied into straightaway right. Judge is on the move. He can't get there in time, and now it hops over the wall for a oh, ground rule right. double. Hey, after Don't that hit field, right man. there, Dero, that JD. extends his hitting streak to six games. Mark yeah, no doubt that. about it. Six days in a row with knocks will help you sleep better at night, Dan. And he takes ball one. In the dirt here, and the runner will stay put, but the count moves to 2-0. and oh. Runner at second here with one man out. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. The 2-1 and one on its way. And he lays off again, ball three. Yep. Not a good spot to be in right now. Pitchers fall behind in the count with a guy up that hits really well with runners in scoring position. To first. Fielded cleanly. And he'll take this one to the bag for the out. But meanwhile, the runner will move up 90 feet to third base. The batter, number two. Good stop. Xander. Bogart. So a man at third here with two gone. And that'll bring up the power hitting shortstop Xander Bogarts. First pitch of the at bat. And a fastball to start things out here. Not close. It's a ball and no strikes. The set and the 1 0. Now a change up, but it misses just a little below the zone. With the runner on third, two outs, base open, and a good hit at the plate, you have to be smart and not give in. If you walk this guy, so what? It's a lot worse if you give him a ball that he can hurt you on. Fouled off. The 2-1 pitch. Men on third with two down. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. One left for the Red Sox, and after three, it remains a 2 2 tie. His hacks again, Luke Voigt. As he'll look to follow up the two-run homer he launched over the wall last time up. 
And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. One and oh, the count. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. This is the cat and mouse that I love right here. You take the pitcher deep last time up. Now you're 2-0 again. No way he gets a fastball right here. And it's fouled away. Yeah. Change up. Call to strike. And he comes back even at 2-2. Two probably better that he let that pitch go anyway after seeing a lively fastball in the pitch before it's pretty hard to sit back enough on a well-thrown changeup here now the 2-2 good swing on a tough pitch and he'll stick around to see another one the 2-2 one more time a swing and a drive to center field that one's got a chance and he's going to make the catch on the warning track. A fine running play there for the first out. Now Good batter. contact to start the out the inning. Field. Thought he might be on Mike. base with some sort Talk. of a hit, but it hung up there too long. Just unlucky that time. Digging in for his second at bat, Mike Talkman. First pitch on its way. Hey! Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Back up the middle. And that is through into center field for a one out single. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on it. Hard single up the middle. Yeah, watch your lips right there, Dan. Sent it back right where it came from. Here's Miguel Andujar now. And he's at risk of the old hat trick. Two strikeouts on his line so far. Again, it seems like these hat tricks and golden sombreros are a lot more common than they were, say, 10, 15 years ago. Guys have stopped worrying about striking out as much. It's really been an ideological shift in the game that's a big topic of debate. Yeah, guy's not going to worry about three strikeouts if he can add a game-winning hit to that line. Here's the first pitch to him. This is hit down the right field line, but it's going to get out of play for strike one. Runner at first here with one away in a 2-2 ball game. Behind 0-2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Grounded to third. One there. Yeah. On to first but not in time as he beats it out. Now battle the shortstop, Labor Toro. So a runner at first with two away, and that'll bring up the exciting middle infielder, Labor Torres. He's set and the pitch changed up on him and dropped it in for a called strike. Man at first with two out in a 2-2 ball game. Bouncer up the middle. He's got it. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. One left for the Yankees. On to the bottom of the fourth. This game's tied at 2 2. So here's Michael Chavis now. He got a hold of one in right yard in his first appearance in this one. And hey, it was a breaking ball to boot. This guy's a pretty good off-speed hitter. You could tell by that last at bat he wasn't fooled at all. He sat back, waited, got the breaking ball, and didn't miss it. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. Good tailing action there. It's one and one.
high in the air down the right field line. And foul. The one two. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Up next for the Red Sox. So the bases are empty the with catcher. one man gone. And from the on deck circle into the batter's okay. box comes Christian Vasquez. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Whoa, that's down. Two runs, four hits, and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. Looked like he wanted to clobber that one, but it's one and one. Outside, two and one. Fouled away. The two two. Is swung on and missed strike three. So after getting the strikeout Don't on like the fastball, Number not a bad 99. time to check out our pitch speed comparison for our two starters. And as you see there, just one mile an hour separating these two arms so far. 96 on one hand, 95 on the other. So stepping in, Alex Verdugo. He'll attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. Axton has his sign. Here's the pitch. Nope. Can't find the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball. Well, he punched out the last guy, but he didn't get any favors from the blue on the first pitch in this at bat. Probably should be ahead of this hitter instead of behind. Weekly hit towards first. Reined in. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Down in order go the Red Sox. Through four, we're deadlocked at two apiece. Marcus Walden, a right-hander standing six foot even, will take now, over the pitching the duties Sox. here. Number 64. Mark it. Walden. So coming to the plate, Aaron Judge. No hits to this point. The right fielder, number 99, Aaron Judge. First pitch coming, here it is. Starts him out with a sinker that's inside, 1-0. Here it comes. Lays off again and it's 2 0. Hit hard down the line. Oh, beautiful dive. Hats off to that one. Great reaction on that one again. and a good job to get down on the ground in time to smother it. Still had to get up and make the throw, and of course, he did that too. Stepping into the box, Giancarlo Stanton, one for two. He singled and struck out in two trips. Now the pitch. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Two runs, seven hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Here's a strike with the breaking ball. One one home is laid off for ball two. Three and one. Well, it's a pretty well known fact that your batting average goes up as you get into more favorable hitters counts, and that's especially true when we're talking about this kind of hitter. Not a great spot to be in if you're the pitcher. And he fouls this one off. Three two counts are usually a time to challenge the hitter but I think he'll be careful here shoot for the corner and if you miss and you walk him so what that's better than him putting one in the seats and another foul ball seventh pitch of the at bat coming up 
He spoils another one and will do it again. He'll try it again, three and two. Fouled off. Hey, have an A-B right here. I know it's frustrating the heck out of the pitcher. You keep fouling these pitches off. Maybe one misses over the heart of the plate. And he'll get to see another one. It'll be the 10th pitch of this at bat. Bases are empty, one man out. Here's a pop up now. Devers is in his tracks now. And there's the second out of the inning. Now batting, second baseman, DJ. LeMahieu. At the plate, DJ LeMahieu. First pitch of the at bat. Strike one to start the at bat. Bases are empty here with two men out. Swing and a ball hit high, but not very far out toward right center. Pilar is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. So the Yanks go one, two, three. Halfway home, tied to a piece. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. During the commercial break, I talked about the Red Sox offense with the Boston manager. And he really emphasized that they're not doing a very good job capitalizing on run scoring opportunities. They've had their opportunities with runners in scoring position, but still have zero hits to show for it in those situations. He said repeatedly not coming through with a big hit can wear on you as a team, but in this sport, you have to dwell on the positives. He's confident they'll find Leading a way off. to break through Warner, sooner or later. Okay, thank you, honey. Bobby, go back. First delivery to him on the way. Bobby Dahlbeck oh, is in for his second plate appearance as he looks at a ball that's 1-0. Oh. Can't sit back long enough and the count evens up at 1-1. One and one. Two and one to the Red Sox first baseman. Hey, after the double is first at bat, looks like he's trying to pitch around this guy a little bit. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. And it's fouled away. Good eye to lay off the knuckle curve that time, and he makes it a full count. You do not want to walk the eight-hole hitter. It just opens up so many options. Do we bunt them over to second with the nine-hole hitter? Do we try and play for that big rally with the top of the order coming up? This is a huge pitch. You can't allow this guy to walk. Fouled away. Three, two, one more time. And he fouls this one off. I know the fans love the souvenirs, but the battle between the pitcher and batter right here is what makes the game great. Lifted down the line and left. And that will end up a foul ball. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Another payoff pitch. And he'll finally just wear him down as this one swung on and missed for the first out. 
anytime you get rookies just breaking into the big leagues, you have to expect a certain amount of this. There aren't any easy at-bats at this level, and you really have to learn how to slow the game down in your head because everything feels like it's so much faster up here. So now to the plate, Kevin Pillar. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. He's ready. Here's the 1 0. Ball two. Pilar, a California born ball player. He was taken in the very late rounds back in 2011. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. Here's the 3 0. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. Dan, are you kidding me right there? I mean, that had to whistle past this Go guy's ear. That was a scary three. moment. Uh, they call man. that the old chuck and okay. duck, right? That was really oh, close, and that's oh, one of the oh. things that most pitchers fear that line drive that zips right by your head. Wow, that was awful close. Here comes the first pitch. A pitch out. The throw. On a great time to pitch out as he'll be thrown out easily at second. Well, they guessed right on the first pitch pitch out. Sometimes you have to wait a pitch or two in the at bat to try that, but they must have had a pretty good idea he was going to be on the move. The 1 0. Has looked at for the first strike. Two out, nobody on. Two and one now to the Boston leadoff hitter. Paxton steps into his windup. Here's the delivery. Now a ball fouled down the right field line out of play, so that'll move the count to two and two now. swing there as they tie him up inside for the third strike and the inning is over. Red Sox go down quietly through five all even at 2-2. Two, two. Top half of the sixth about to get started and digging in is the big time Gary. power threat yeah. Gary Sanchez. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And a high strike to begin the at bat. It's 0 and 1. And some action now in the Boston bullpen as a right hander's up and throwing. Off the plate. One ball, one strike. Who jumped the gun a bit on that swing, and he's down one and two. In my opinion, one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up. Just a heavy sinker with good downward action. Uh, got him on the good slider there. Swung on and missed as he's down on strikes for the second time the tonight. Hitter, Gio Urshela. Standing in now, Gio Urshela. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time. It's nothing in one. He's working on a one for two game so far. And he takes this one high, one and one. A little bit outside. Two and one. And the pitch. Right 
Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. The batter, the first baseman. At the plate, Luke Voigt. Perhaps he can drive another one out of the park just like he did back in the second. First pitch on its way. Well, that's off the plate. Ball two as the breaking ball misses inside. Hey, you want to talk about being in a zone? This guy's been raking lately, and it all starts with his pitch selection. Two great takes, and he's almost daring the pitcher. Just go ahead and challenge him. Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and O. Oh. Bases are empty here with two men out. And a good comeback there. It's three and one. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Line shot to second, but it's caught, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Bombers. Home half of the sixth inning coming up. Deadlocked at two apiece. Digging in now, Rafael Devers. He'll start things out against James Paxton as we get the inning underway. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Double-barreled action in the Yankee bullpen now. A lefty and a right-hander start to get loose. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Stanton has a read on it. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Now batting, the left fielder, J.D. Martinez. Here's J.D. Martinez. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. First pitch of the at bat. One out, nobody on. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0 and 2. His command has been outstanding so far, hitting nearly all of the spots, and that's been a big factor why he's been so successful up to this point. And they'll try to tempt him with a curveball, but this bounces in front of the plate, and it's one and two. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. Boy, he went from being in the driver's seat to now being in some trouble. Had the count 0 and 2, started nipping at the corners, and next thing you know, this count stands at three and two. And here's a ball out towards straightaway center field. And he will run this one down, moving to his left, and that's the second out of the, the batter, inning. Number two, shortstop, Xander Bogart. Two men are gone now in the Boston half of the sixth, and that'll bring up the shortstop and one of the better two strike hitters in baseball, Xander Bogarts. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Ball one. Wouldn't mind the pitcher expanding the zone a little bit more and using his aggressiveness against them. Two balls and no strikes for Bogarts. Two out, nobody on. Two and one now. Paxton steps into his windup. Here it comes. Now a half swing here on the pitch inside, but it's a full swing in the eyes of the home plate umpire. Strike two.
fouled off. Another try at 2-2. Swing and a soft liner. And this will be taken down no problem for the final out of the inning. Red Sox go down 1-2-3. Six innings complete. All square at 2-2. Two two. Seventh inning ready to roll. And that will bring up the outfielder, Mike Talkman. Mike Talkman. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Yeah. And he starts him out with a strike on the outer half. And that misses one and one. And it's fouled away. The one two. Line drive to left. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. So the leadoff man is aboard to start out the inning. Well, I think it's safe to say the ice is melted on this guy. He had been cold coming into this game. But that being his third knock, I guarantee you my man's smiling on the inside. Digging in now for the Yankees, Miguel Andujar. He struggled at the top of the lineup in this one, hitless to this point. Has a look, now the pitch. And he'll power in a fastball that time at 94 for strike one. Go ahead runs aboard here at first with nobody out. Drilled on the ground to short. And a backhanded try into the hole at short, but this gets on by. Throw will hold him at second, but the go ahead runs in scoring position now with still nobody out. The These guys are in perfect position to break through right Four. here and to take the lead. There is without question nothing tougher than back-to-back -back singles. You don't know if they're going to bunt. You don't know. They can do so. They have so many options at their disposal right now. So it's first and second now. Nobody out. And that will bring up Glaber Torres. Set here it comes and a cut fastball but this bounces near the plate for a ball none out runners at first and second hit out towards second he's right there the second for one on the first to complete the double play well, there's the pitcher's best friend right there. The inning was off to a rough start, right? But nothing changes that like a good old two ball. We'll see if they can strand the runner at third now. Here's big Aaron Judge. It's been a rough go of things at the plate for him so far, but his guys are looking for him to change that right here. Yeah, nothing better than coming through for the boys in a tight game, Matt especially when you're kind of due to do something productive. First offering on its way. Swing and a miss, but he's right on here. One strike. Go ahead runs in scoring position here with two down. Oh, and a good tight slider there, and he's in command, nothing in two. Hey, what a job right here to put yourself in position to get out of this one after giving up back-to-back -back singles to the first two batters. And it's a ball and two strikes now to Aaron Judge. Well, all of the umpires in the seats thought that would strike three. And they weren't far off, but I think that was a good call. Looked to be just a bit outside. Still a ball and two strikes. Go ahead runs in scoring position here with two down. 
outside and low that time. Now it's two balls and two strikes. Yeah, and if you get a guy flailing at a pitch like that, heck, you're going to go out there and throw that same pitch until he proves he can lay off of it. The set and the 2-2. Two -two. And the pitch is off the catcher's glove as it rolls away. But it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. The payoff pitch. And the cutter got him swinging. Strike three, and the side is retired. Let so they pick up no runs pop. on two hits, no errors, and one man left on base. Right. Seventh inning stretch time here at the ballpark. And Your we are tied 2-2. Tommy Kingley gets the call from the pen to take Number over on the mound and start the home Tommy seventh. Kingley. Now the Red Sox DH, Leading Michael off. Chavis. Them, He'll start top. things out here in the bottom the of inning number hitter. seven. Michael Chavis. From the stretch. Hey. Now the 0-1. Behind 0-2 now. Chainley, 30 years of age, he was selected in the first round back in the draft of 2013. Yeah, Matty, they certainly got it right when they drafted this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. Everybody knows this guy's name, and kids are buying his jerseys. One Changes ball. up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. One, two is an off speed pitch. No dice, it's two and two. Flip a coin right here with this next pitch. After throwing two fastballs to get ahead, he's been able to lay off both those off-speed pitches. Looks like he's seeing it pretty good. The 2-2 two -two is swung on and missed strike three. Now batter. Digging in, Christian Vasquez. Christian. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. The 1 0 is a fastball that misses. Bases are empty, one man out. Too high, and it's three and zero. Oh. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters. So you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Here it comes on three and zero, oh. and he lays off ball four. Now the potential go-ahead run is on base here. It was obvious when the count ran to two and zero oh that they were not going no, to give this guy Robert, anything to hit. Sometimes you have to pick your battles, and they're going to try their luck with the next hitter. Now with the plate, Alex Verdugo, 0 for 2 on his line thus far. From the stretch, hit on the ground down the first baseline. Uh, this gets foul, it's 0 and 1. And this is high, a ball and a strike. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. Working for the punch out and the offering. And this one's in the dirt. But it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. The 2-2. Two -two. He's at the knees and called strike three. That was a big strike out there, guys. The best pitchers have the ability to now strike better. guys out the when they really there. need to. And Bobby. that second out was really important so at this bad. point of the game. Could be something we look back on later when the game's over. 
at the plate. Bobby Dahlbeck as he'll take a called strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one. A hit in two tries for him so far. Now the 0 1. Strike two swinging just out in front of the slider. I know that feeling. Played 14 years in the big leagues and still can't hit a slider. Fouled away. On its way, the 0 2 pitch. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Red Sox leave one. And this game is still tied at two and two. Your Henry has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 37, Heath Henry. So here's the cleanup hitter, Giancarlo Stanton. He's working on a one for three thus far. First offering on its way. There's a breaking ball that couldn't quite catch the inside. Hembry was known as a short relief specialist, a guy who came in, got one or two big outs, but with the new pace of play rules, they're forcing a change for this right hander. Giancarlo swings, and this ball is hit well into left field. Martinez is on the warning track as he hauls it in for a loud now out number one. Second. I know they say sometimes that these things even out, but that was a bullet line drive that gets caught. He would have represented the go-ahead run. Here's the second baseman, D.J. LeMayhew. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. First pitch coming. Here it is. Oh, look out! Hot shot to third, and there are two away. Now batting, the catcher, Gary Sanchez. Digging in once again, Gary Sanchez. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. First pitch of the at bat on its way. In the air out toward right field. Verdugo's got it, and with it, the inning is over. Yankees retired on just four pitches. Score remains two to two. Ladies ben Heller is on to pitch out of the please. bullpen in the bottom half now of the eighth. Number 61, Ben Heller. Ready to go for the last half of the Leading inning, off. and that'll bring up the man who's a human highlight reel the defensively, fielder. Kevin Pillar. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Off the plate, ball one. The 1 0 home. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Stanton has a read on it. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. The batter, number three, second baseman, Jose Peraza. So the Red Sox lineup turns over, and to the plate, Jose Peraza, one for two on his line so far in the game. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. And he'll take strike one on the fastball, registering at 93 that time. And some action out in the Yankee bullpen now as a right-hander starts to loosen up. The windup and the 0-1. Down and away, ball one. I got a ball, one strike. One out, nobody on. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off-speed pitch. Nope. Lays That's off two and two now. Full count to Jose Peraza.
Now the payoff pitch home. And he lays off, ball four. Now the potential go-ahead run is on base here. Well, that was a slider in a 3-2 count, and it just didn't now tempt him enough to get a good swing. Baseman. A good job of pitch recognition and knowing the strike Never. zone to draw the free pass there. Digging in to try it again, Rafael Devers. first pitch. Strike called. Now the throw down. He's there to ring him up. The caught stealing for Sanchez. Well, in my opinion, this one all came down to the catcher's footwork on that throw. That was just perfect. You have to use your feet to get your body into a good throwing position for an accurate throw. He did it just right, and he nabs another base runner. Into the wind. The 0-1. One and one. Slider well off the plate, an easy take there. Bases are empty here with two men out. Now a swing and a deep drive to right. Judge looks up. Boom goes the dynamite. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. As they've taken the lead, it's now 3-2. to two. That's a big-time bomb right there. It's about time now for the closure to get ready and slam the door on this one. Ready once again, J.D. Martinez. Fourth trip to now the plate batting. for him, Left and he's at risk of ending that nice hitting streak that he's put together. Martinez. Yeah, chances are it's on his mind, Matt, but you just have to let that get out of the way as best you can. You have to approach this at bat just like any other. Otherwise, you're just getting in your own way. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Now a slider, and he gets ahead of him here, 0-1. Oh and he popped him up. LeMahieu is there. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. The Red Sox do pick up a run on the solo shot. Last chance coming up here for the Bombers, and Boston's taking a 3-2 lead. Brandon Workman comes out of the bullpen to shut things Sox. down here in the ninth. Number 44, Brandon Workman. All set to start the ninth in this one. And standing in is the DH, Gio Urshela. Gio Urshela. Now the pitch. And we kick off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here. Nothing in one. Swung on and missed. That's strike two. in deep down the left field line and this will wind up a foul ball good chance he's not seeing that pitch again if he does it's got to be bounced but I'll tell you from a pitcher's perspective that's nothing but a long strike and a swing and a miss good pitch there for the first out here in the ninth 
Talk about blowing it by a guy. Jeez, I mean, oh, that fastball was way behind him the first when the swing time. came through the zone. Mm. I have to think he was Four. looking for something off speed, and he just couldn't pull the trigger on that fastball. At the plate now, Luke Voigt. As the first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. He's working on a one for three thus far. The 1-0. Yep, that ball went out. Hey, after those two breaking balls miss, you have to be sitting on a fastball right here. Now the 2-0. Workman, a right-hander going six foot five, enters the day in third place among closers in all-star fan voting, so it remains to be seen if he gets his invite to this year's festivities. Yeah, and you don't want to leave it up to a manager's decision. You want to get in based on the fan vote, and he has a chance to do exactly that if he can make a late push as we head towards the Midsummer Classic. Three and one pitch. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential tying run here is aboard late in the game. The batter, the center fielder, Mike. Digging Tuchman. in and looking for more, Mike Tuckman. He'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that tying run from first. Comes set, now the pitch. And he misses inside with that one, ball one. home is a fastball taken high for a ball he's gonna have to have a talk with the umpire after this half inning because if he's not gonna get those calls he's got to come a little bit more over the heart of the plate and that usually means damage done now the 2-0 hey. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Pilar's there. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Now batting. The third baseman. Miguel. And Duhar. So it's a runner at first with two men out. And striding into the plate, it'll be Miguel and Duhar. As a look, now the pitch. A ball and no strikes. And he falls behind now, 2 and 0. Oh. Now, this is the kind of count this guy feeds on at the plate. You can bet he's geared to hit the fastball right here. Two zero pitch a fastball inside and he's struggling here. It's three and zero. If you're at the plate right now, you have to realize who's on deck. I guarantee you something's over the heart of the plate. You have to be aggressive in the zone right here. That one's in there. Three and one. You maybe get two pitches a game where all the guesswork goes out the window. This is certainly that situation. The 3-1 pitch. And this is swung on and missed. So now they find themselves down to their final strike tonight. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. And he missed with it. Ball four. So that means now the potential tying run will move oh, into scoring game. position at second. The, the closer is supposed to slam the door on his opponent, but he left the door wide open with a walk there. We'll see if they can capitalize on it. So striding forward now, Torres, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield.
trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. Well, he's really in trouble, and it's just getting worse and worse and worse. This guy needs to find the strike zone in the worst way. Big spot. Two out, possible tying, and go-ahead runs on base. That misses 2-0. and oh. Got to find a way to execute either a good fastball down the way or flip something off speed for a strike. You cannot miss over the harder plate in these situations. The hitter is on high alert. And that's over two and one. Now a swing and a hard hit grounder. But this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. A crowd in excess of 37,000 come to their feet. This one misses, and that'll fill the count here. Three and two with two away. Well, no doubt in my mind, this has been the at-bat of the night so far. Last chance for the Yankees. And he misses ball four. So now that potential tying run scoots up 90 feet to third base. That's a big no-no. He obviously had to work carefully with two men on, but he did not want to walk him to load the bases. Now he's really got his work cut out for him. We'll see how he fares here. Stepping up now, Aaron Judge. His day at the plate hasn't amounted to much. 0 for 4, but this is a great opportunity to make amends. Well, when your team really needs you like they need it right here, you have to be able to put your personal struggles out of your mind. Right now is all that matters. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0-1. After the walk and with runners on the bags, he couldn't afford to fall behind here. Nice job of jumping ahead with strike one. Outside for a ball, one and one. Hey, they tried to tie him up on that last pitch, so I like that they went away with this one. The execution didn't work, but I like the idea behind it. Here's the one one. Nope. Down low, two balls and a strike. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. Good pitch as this is swung on and missed, and now they're down to perhaps their final strike of the evening. Hey, he's got excellent stuff working right now. Somebody has to make an adjustment. You're seeing a lot of late swings. No one's getting a front foot. Struck him out, so a great job of working out a certain danger as he strands the possible tying and winning runs on base, and the ball game is over. Hey, we were really treated to a good one today. Bottom of the eighth proved to be the difference, though, and a good job here in the ninth to close the book on this one. Three to two, the finish in tonight's game. The Boston Red Sox came through late, taking the lead in the eighth to secure the victory. Heath Hembry wins his fourth game out of the bullpen this year. Brandon Workman wraps it up for the save, his 20th of the season. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show.